Hello, everyone. I'm Jeff Goldblatt with Rebecca's Wish, and we have a special conversation today. We're joined by Dr. Trevor Laborda, and his title is he's the Pediatric Advanced Endoscopy Fellow. Did I get that right, doctor? That is a mouthful, but yes. Okay, and where, where are we finding you today? It looks like some beautiful clouds back behind you. So I'm at the medical center right now in a closed office. It's nice and quiet. In San Antonio. In San Antonio right now. But you're from Utah. Yeah, so I did, I'm actually from Colorado, did my medical school training in New York, did pediatrics residency in Austin, Texas, pediatric GI fellowship in Salt Lake City at Primary Children's, and now I'm here for one year doing a pediatric advanced endoscopy fellow fellowship with Dr. Patel and Dr. Noel through Rebecca's Wish. Gotcha. And so you are tied to us and near and dear to our cause, which is trying to find a cure for pediatric pancreatitis and also providing uh, education and treatment to those children who are suffering. Um, during your time here, what have you learned more about pediatric pancreatitis? Well, I mean, for me, it's been very eye-opening. So I've done several years of training, but where I trained, we had somebody who focused on the pancreas, but really someone who didn't focus on therapeutic options to help treat pancreatitis. So we had the medical treatment, but nobody was able to offer endoscopic treatment for these patients. So we would have these patients come in and when they would be struggling, we couldn't really offer much more. So now coming here, I've learned this whole new side of treatment that we can really provide for this, this subset of patients who are in desperate need of it. Um, because there's not many centers across the country who actually do these procedures in kids, which is why Rebecca's Wish and why Dr. Patel and Dr. Noel have started this very unique, one-of-a-kind program that only takes one fellow a year to train them to then place them across the country to really try to bolster research and advancements in treatments for children with chronic pancreatitis. Are people in your medical specialty hearing about met, uh, Rebecca's Wish and this unique opportunity and, and what's the reception out there to Rebecca's Wish? So they are, they are they're definitely hearing about it. Um, and it's, it's nice because Rebecca's Wish has kind of spread across the country. Now with the first trainee who's here is now in LA. We have two providers who are in Louisiana. I'll be going back to Utah. I mean, it's really spreading across the country and people are becoming more aware of it and, very, and are very open to it. Um, so your talents and the training that you've received from Dr. Patel and the team here will now go back to Salt Lake after you're done here so that anyone who may have pediatric pancreatitis doesn't have to travel to San Antonio. That, that's correct. So, I mean, and in Utah, it's unique because we have, just like Texas, you have a very large catchment area. In Utah, we actually serve Wyoming, parts of Colorado, all of Utah, Nevada, Idaho, Montana. So we have a very large area of patient of a patient population that needs to be served. So it's a very, very unique opportunity. So you'll be in very high demand then when you get back. Huh? Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. And so your training prior to that, physicians in your field and with this predicament, let's say a child with pancreatitis comes to a hospital in Salt Lake City. What was the prescribed treatment before? So the prescribed treatment before was it's pretty much standard of care medical management for childhood pancreatitis. And at our hospital in Utah, we provided very excellent care. But what this training does, it provides a whole new avenue into therapeutic treatment for patients who are not doing well on traditional medical management, which is why it's desperately needed throughout the country. And I mean, in these, focus, in these focused specialized centers. Dr. Laborda, what would you want to say to the supporters of Rebecca's Wish and how they're making a difference for your learning and also to the children out there? So I have had a very unique opportunity coming down here. So like I said, I'm through Rebecca's Wish, they have started this program and they train one doctor a year to do this. But then you throw on top of it, I came down here and started training in the middle of a pandemic, which really kind of threw a wrench into 
Rebecca's wish in regards to how they truly interacted with patients. So I have been fortunate enough and blessed enough to kind of fill the role that Rebecca had, where I'm now the one who's delivering gifts to these families. And it has been life-changing for me to see the families receive the gifts from Rebecca's wish. And it completely changes their life because it's a difficult time right now. And Rebecca's wish is very generous with how they're helping all these families. And I had some families who couldn't even make it to the clinic appointments because they couldn't afford gas money. So right, now- these gift, Right, these gifts, just to interject here, are what we call scholarship opportunities, yeah. usually at the very least a thousand dollars. Yeah. And this comes because of the generosity of our donors. And it used to be often Kristen or Rebecca would hand deliver these checks. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. not possible with COVID. So you're almost serving as one of Santa's else or, or Santa Claus yourself, right? <laughs> and I'm just incredibly blessed to be able to be in this position where I not only can take care of these patients in the clinic and in the endoscopy suite, but I can also help provide through Rebecca's wish financial assistance to allow them to get the medicine that they need, to allow them to get the procedures that they need, to allow them to pay medical bills, whatever the families need this financial support for, they can use it. And it's, it's been amazing to see just the response and reaction and the response from a lot of the patients too, who now you provide them this gift and now they want to come volunteer. They want to truly be a part of Rebecca's wish now, which is amazing to see because you, you took this subset of patients who were told for so long that they don't have a disease, that they're making it up. You now give them a diagnosis, you give them hope. And now rather than them suffering for more years of chronic pain, you give them hope to actually continue on, to actually be involved with something, to know that they're not alone. And it's, it's amazing to see. Well, wonderful. I don't want to take too much more of your time. Just any final words? Cause I know you're bouncing from hospital to hospital <laughs> and you should be with the kids not talking to me necessarily. So. No, no, I just, I just want to say thank you to everybody for all your support, for Rebecca's wish and for really putting me in this position to help these patients and to get this amazing training, this one of a kind training that is really not offered anywhere else in the country. Um, and I'm just in debt to Dr. Noel and Dr. Patel and to Rebecca's wish and for allowing me to be here. So I'm in Well, thank you so much, thank Dr. Laborda, for what you're doing. God bless you. And uh, I hope to meet you in person pretty soon, but this has yeah. been a fun conversation. Yeah, definitely. Take care. All right. Thank you.